So guys, in the last video, we were able to upload our images on the server as well as we were able to render that image. But one quick change will be like uh, that I need to put it there, which I forgot. So firstly, I'm going to get rid of this console statement and this statement also. And once the new file is up being uploaded, uh, we want to we want to empty this data, the uploaded image that we have. So we just so that we we do not encounter that part. And we just put it empty string because if the file progress is also there and we have uploaded two images at a point of time then that that might colla collide with each other so now if I click that's fine click one that's fine it's fine all the images are being generated and everything is served statically from the server and we are using this endpoint from there so that's why we are able to see all the images so that was a quick fix which I want to show you and that is fine for us so now it's time to go and get started with our multiple file uploader component so I'm gonna quickly shrink this one and these are the mainly most of the styling I'm gonna use from this only I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna paste that and instead of this single uploader I'm gonna rename it to multi uploader and we have a multiple uploader so we have uploaded images we'll be using uploaded images and set uploaded images then and from the it was simply taking a string now we have a list of images that's why it will be now an array and everything was coming from the data if we go through our video uh, everything within the within the data we were getting a response as a string of the list of the e strings so we can directly set it there and we'll put some change slight changes over here that we'll do in a while and this endpoint was multi upload so let me simply check that multi upload yeah it was that and that would do for us now we'll put, we'll we will get into this part just in just a bit but before that i'm going to check into the this template that we have and we are simply instead of this uploaded image I'm gonna grab that old template and if that we have we loop through that one by one uploaded images dot map and in that map I'm gonna get uploaded I'm gonna get a single of this so basically I'm gonna name that uploaded image and we'll render out our template so this is our template that we are getting from there and I don't know why it's showing error just a bit if we have uploaded images then we will render this otherwise no. so that would do our shop for now but the issue with our template will be basically our whole thing is getting next to that part next to each other so we have to fix something we have to do something in that case and instead of that I'm gonna completely get rid of this part and I'm gonna define that outside this dflex so that it looks fine so I'm gonna create a div with a dflex again so it will come to the next line and that should be like flex wrap so that is gonna wrap our images and that will be set to true and then we'll wrap our images one by one so instead of this ml3 I'm just gonna get rid of ml3 I'm gonna give it a class of ml2 mr2 not ml2 and while rest of the thing should work just fine for us now it's time to one more thing so to handle the multiple images we have to also define in our input that is a multiple key multiple attribute we have to attach with our input and that would just do fine uh, one more thing which I wanted to do in my previous one also so this endpoint can be generated uh, can be can be changed so I want to make the structure so I can simply say API I can extract it from our API let me cut this for now from here and I'm gonna pass our API so this we are receiving it from the props and that prop is in here so I can simply say API and that will be equal to this uploads 
So now this looks more like a modular code so that now you can use this component anywhere, any point of time. It can trigger to anywhere else. So let's say if now tomorrow if you want to use the same code, you can just have to change the API as well as the constant. So with that all set, now it's time to do the same for our multiple component, multi-uploader component that we have created. And we'll extract our API. We'll pass it over here, API. And for the file data, let's see what happens. So if it's uploading is true, that's fine. Otherwise, go with this one. Mm -hmm. So for uploading multiple images, here we have to play something. We have to do something. And the way we can do that is by simply installing a package called Lodash which is a very nice package. So I am going to install that npm install load dash. And this will take a moment to install that package. I don't know what's wrong. Okay, so it wasn't pressed. And once it is installed, we'll start bringing that package. So I'm going to import from low dash that's underscore basically I'm importing that low dash I like to organize my code that's why I follow a lot of convention if people oftenly say that uh, why how clean code I write and that's just because I follow the conventions and now I am getting some kind of squiggly line so we have to figure out where we are getting that squiggly lines and that that would be basically just because of some error and this API is giving me a squiggly line. Yeah, that's basically just because of a comma that we haven't, uh, we forgot to put in there. And now we're gonna look through whatever we have inside our target.files. So we can look through. So now we look through using our load as package and the way we can do that by simply saying for each. So this is an inbuilt function for the load ash. And now we're gonna use that and we'll look through our this files array that we have in the target and this will give me a single of it so I'll receive it to the files and we were receiving the images in our files so I'm gonna copy this part actually control Z let me quickly copy this so for that this will give me other file and now we're gonna form the we are going to copy this part, paste it, and instead of this file, I'm going to send one one by file, and we'll append that file through that. Simply file. And when, once we are done with, ready with our form data, we, know, we no longer need this line, and save it. And that would just do, and let's render out this, temp, uh, this whole component in our main app.js. So I'm gonna write multi and as I write you can see it has automatically imported that's the beauty of using this extension which I recommended in the first video and this is again gonna couple of you're gonna take all three fields which we have defined on the top one I'm gonna copy this paste it over here instead of ID it will be multi upload upload multiple files and the endpoint will be multi so you can always look into the express application whatever the endpoint you have defined you can use that over here upload multiple files so now as I do this now you can see my uh, multiple file uploader component is also ready so if I click here let me select one by one all three images and let's see how it renders on our template so now everything is working fine but we can see that each child in a list should have a multi unique key and by default if we see in our multiple uploads all the links are unique because we have used the date function in order to naming when we were naming our images generated on the server so we can use that key over here where we are looping through that and we can pass that as a key prop to our image and that will be basically our uploaded image the same key whatever we have 
in the source you can also go for the i you can take that as a i also but i will go with this one because this will have a more pro, uh, less prone to our that part so this was it for our multiple uploads so if i select one by one again and if i press enter you can see all the files are uploaded on the server we were getting some progress but that progress was very uh, way too uh, way too fast so we couldn't see but if i go to my home directory and my projects upload the project and our server go to source public and the uploads you can see all the files are there so let me quickly delete them one by one again and let me empty my trash go back and let's upload a couple of more files so currently I have removed those files but as soon as I reload this application those files won't be visible now you can see that file is generated again let me quickly reload that and you can see all the four files are here now actually that upload didn't work so let me reload this page whole page and let's click select some images and I uploaded them and you will find them here generated so that's basically it about the multiple uploader and the, in the next video we'll start working with our drop zone so basically drop zone is something but before that I wanted to give some margin from the top so I just want to fix it real quick empty of three so that everything is aligned and gives a proper margin so we'll start looking for the drop zone uploader in the next video where we can drag and drop a lot of files and it will work just fine for us so stay tuned with my channel and happy coding and keep on learning keep on sharing whatever you have whatever small idea also would be nice these days i'm looking into a view apollo thing and i'm just figuring out how we can see this upload progress thing in a view apollo so let's meet in the next video and we'll start working with our drop zone thank you guys